Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Dragon Age Origins uh, walkthrough. So uh, starting out here in uh, the Soldier's Peak, I was doing some uh, some pretty serious inventory management here. Uh, I've actually dropped, dropped down to 45 uh, items, so I feel like not so bad. Uh, I Warden. want to do the... Indeed, I have spent my life studying steel, dragon bone, and more. I learned all I could. Give me oh, the yeah, finest right. metals and materials, and I can uh, make So I, I'm actually going to do the the dragon. Is it dragon scale and the dragon? Uh, what's the other stuff? I don't know. I can't remember the names of the stuff, but uh, we have dragon scales and and drake scales, and so I'm actually going to head. I think we need to go to Denerim for that. And actually, that was uh, that's where I want to go anyway. I want to do. There's a. There's a quest here that um, that we're able to finally do uh, because I've collected all I think it's all three of the the different things that we needed for it. So um, also let's see here. You have so, fine weapon and arms. So I've been Dormant. I've been trying to look for uh, enchantments as well. Um, I finally stuck a couple on a sword. No, he doesn't have any, does he? Yeah, he's not gonna have any. Uh, I, I stuck a couple on, what was it? Jeez. This, uh, Blood Dragon Longsword. So I did five electricity, five fire, and five cold. Uh, those were just the only Grandmaster runes that I had. Um, it shall be done. Right now, so, uh, I just, I just threw them on there. It's, I, I honestly, I, I haven't, I haven't done really anything with enchanting, uh, the entire game. And, you know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Seeing as we're in Denerim now, I'm wondering if we might be able to look someone up. Oh, um... Let's see here. Uh, you have a friend outside the Grey Wardens? I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. Oh, all right. That's wonderful news. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Uh, if you want to, we could try. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana. And I think she remarried, but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. All right, Alistair's family. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see here. So, oh yes. Um, I better save here too. Um, my my game used to crash here when I was running. What was it, Spell Shield or something like that? That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is yes. This is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Yeah, let's do that. Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't remember that at all. Uh, we'll take a little pit stop here, I guess, to Goldana's house. Uh, hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you Goldana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. 
My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? <laughs> uh, let's see. He's telling the truth. Listen to him. Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. Do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did. And I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long. And when I went back, they ran me off. Um, uh, that's hardly Alistair's fault, is it? And who in the maker's name are you? Some elf to follow him about and carry his riches for him? Hey, don't speak to her that way. She's my friend and a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Uh, let's go with the persuasion option here. Goldana, Alistair came here hoping to find his family. Well, he found it. And what good is that to me? None, that's what. Unless he can see to it that his family lives as it should. I suppose maybe I could give her some money for my nieces and nephews. Fifteen sovereigns, maybe? Would you let me give her that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, go ahead if you like. Then here, Goldana, take this money. I know it's not much, but... You, a prince, marching in here with your fancy armor and such, and this is all you got to offer? You must think I'm very stupid. No, wait, I, I don't think that at all. I, I want to help, if I can. You want to help? You go to whatever high and mighty folks you run with, and you tell them you've got nephews and nieces that aren't living as they've a right to. You do that. <laughs> it's true, you're going to be the king after all. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wow. Um, it looks. Yeah, I don't know. All these options are, I mean, pretty, pretty crappy. <laughs> uh, this is the family you were searching for, Alistair. Mm, yes, apparently so. And let me promise you this, Goldan. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine, but you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Well, that was... Not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot. Ah, uh, let's see here. Uh, you don't need her. You have others who care for you. Such as? The only person who ever cared about me was Duncan. And he's gone. Um, so apparently, I think his romance is active right now. So we can answer with, I care about you. I... Thank you. I'm glad you came with me. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Alright, Alistair approves. 
Uh, lost 15 gold. I mean, I didn't care. I have, I have a ton now, so... Uh, you know, if you don't want to lose the 15, then don't agree, obviously, to, uh, to give her any. All right, here's Wade's. Very Uh, I guess there's actually a way uh, or an option potentially with that uh, as well to actually activate his romance, but uh, I think technically it's already been activated. All right. So. Welcome back. You looking for fine armor? Uh, I'm here about Drake scales. Of course. She's back. She's back. Have you reconsidered? I can make such fine armor with your scales. Yeah, um, how much will it cost? cost? I should be paying you, friend, for the right, no, the privilege. Pay him? No, Wade, no. Uh, we'll charge you. I'll hear nothing of that, Heron. This is my shop, and working on Drake scales will cost a bloody Elysian penny. All right. Let's see... How long will it take to make? It will take however long it takes. Don't rush the masterpiece, my good lady. Yes, yes, that's right. It could take months, years even. You should just leave. It won't take that long, Heron. Unless... Unless I did some inlays of... Oh, I know. Yes, it wouldn't be complete without the uh, inlays. Of course, the customer <laughs> would have to agree... All right, let's see here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm supposed to handle uh, all of this. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Looks like we need to go with the pay 10. Excellent. You won't regret it. Think of the possibilities, Heron. Think of it. I'm trying to stop. <laughs> okay. You're here about your order. I've barely even begun and you're pestering me. Oh, get back to work. Come to see our fine goods before they sell out? Uh, Certainly. Looks like we're going to have to come back a little bit later. That's all right. Dark Spawn Omega Battle. <laughs> is, is that a modded item? I don't know. Yeah, this is... I think I sold this guy a bunch of stuff earlier. Yeah, jeez, look at all these shields. Um, all right, well, I'll come back. I'll come back a little bit later, I think. I think, uh... Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Well, looks like that's it for now. Let's, uh, let's go do our, our side quests, say. and then I'll, I'll come back and check on, check on this. I don't remember how long like it's supposed to take. I'm actually let's uh let's come back in a second. You're here about your I barely even be okay. oh, get back yeah, to he's, work. Uh, come he's on. not done. <laughs> I thought maybe just like leaving once and coming back in would change it, but that's not the case. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Were these people here before? Oh, wait, what? I can't do anything there? Okay, well. 
Guess we're going back to the entrance then. here before we go uh, to the next area. Let's see here. I should... Oh, shoot. I don't quite have enough magic to rebuy mass paralysis yet. Okay, well, um, I think I'm just going to bank this point then. Alright, so I think we need to head to the dirty back alley. It shall be done. Huh, well, that I was fun. I see. I see. There's the warden, the thief. Be careful. One patrol's been wiped out already. Attack! Would see we are not alone.
I see. <laughs> what about so be it. Let's end this. And stay down. I don't really like the melee weapon on Morrigan. I think I'm gonna have to swap that to a staff. Very well. fun what a just a gigantic battle that was tough though um i took a couple of attempts the there, there was something in there. i don't know if that was just getting targeted by archers but i just kept getting stunned and obviously that was interrupting my heals and pair the mass paralysis so that wasn't so fun but Okay, um, this is the spot that we need to be. This is the quaint hovel. So this is, um, again, the, the quest for, uh, it's called Unbound. And we'll have to, let's see here. This quote from uh, Dead or Terrified Adventures have directed you to this unassuming door. The house is marked with the initials VM. There is no answer, though there is clearly a light inside. Hello, I would like to speak with Vilm Medon. There's no response. I'm here to discuss the stories of Gax Kang. I'm not leaving. All right. Let's go inside here. Grey Warden, isn't it? Strange you would force such a visit in a time of blight. I suppose I am used to inspiring a different kind of seeker. Well, uh, your stories attract them, then they disappear. <laughs> the adequate ones find the beacons, and then I find them. But you, you are already brighter than the signal at Ishal. Eyes are on you from a very high vantage, Grey Warden. I cannot hide in your wake, but I will not be a footnote. Witness Gax King! like 
this path. So be it. Watch out! As you wish. As you wish. As you wish. As you say. Let's make Let's this make quick. It. Make quick. As yes. you say. As you wish. <laughs> So be it. Very well. I shall do it. I shall do it. It is begun. Very well. Missed! Make a preserver! Got him. Man, that fight is brutal. Uh, so I'm probably also here way too early. So I'm 14. Uh, apparently this guy's level 20. But yeah, brutal. Uh, King Blade. Got the Fade Wall uh, as well. I, so I've actually I've killed him twice now. And um, the Fade Wall has actually dropped both times. I heard, or I, my understanding was that it was rare. But yeah, like I said... It's uh, it's dropped twice now. So, um, yeah. Anyways, that is uh, that is Gath King. Um, wait, is this actually good? I didn't. <laughs> I was too busy talking about it. I didn't actually see if it was any good or not. Defense six, fatigue five, six defense. Oh, 15% increase or uh, healing effects received. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Stamina regen and com, uh, combat. Plus 25 stamina, plus 15 health. Yeah, I don't know, that seems... Yeah, that does actually seem really good. It's way better defense than the, like the blood dragon shield. Fatigue 5.6. Lower fatigue than it does, too. Better, no, actually better, worse missile uh, deflection. Hmm. Alright, well, that's that. Let's save here. Dirty back alley. Very dirty. <laughs> it's where the dirty people... Alright, so um, <clears throat> I took a, took a little cut here, but uh, I'm actually in Wade's Emporium. I left the... Was it the dirty... What was this thing called? Dirty Back Alley. <laughs> uh, where we took down uh, Gax Kang. And, uh, alright, anyway, so yeah, I'm in Wade's, and I want to pick up the, um, the Drake Scale Armor. Uh, so let's get this going. You're here about your order. It's done. I made the armor. And it's garbage. I wouldn't let a festering swine wear it. Wade, it's amazing. I don't see anything wrong with it. Are you blind as well as stupid? The leg guards are too tight. It'll chafe. The die isn't even... Look here. I see a splotch. It's garbage, I say. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Truly. It's a work of art. Here, wear it well. Now kindly leave. Alright, <laughs> uh, uh, I really like Wade. Alright, so um, now that we've got the Drake skin armor... Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please <laughs> leave the customer alone. How can I help you? Um. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, can you make dragon scale armor? You just don't know when to quit! Ha ha ha! Why so glum, Erin? Today is a glorious day. Today, I make dragon scale armor. I feel just giddy. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> what can you make with it? Patience, patience. Now... I've dreamed of what I would do every night. It's in my head in perfect clarity. It will be the work of hours. What? what? You're serious? Absolutely. The only question is what type of armor. Dragon skin is marvelous, flexible and tough. I could make a lighter set of dragon skin armor, heavy dragon scale armor, or dragon bone plate. What interests you? <laughs> dragon bone plate. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the strongest armor you can make, the dragon bone plate. Excellent! Excellent! Now don't move! Alright, not moving. There you go. My life's work, that is. You did it so fast. Of course, Eren. Have some faith. I am a master armorer, you know. Miracles never cease. But you, you're not welcome here anymore. I need a sabbatical. Maybe someplace warm. I hate my life. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, the work's not over. Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please leave the customer alone. How can I help you? Um... I have more Drake scales. You must be kidding. We're done. No... Oh, Eren, more scales. I can make another set. You're on Draste, no. I've been thinking every night about what I'd do different. It's all in my head. Dear Eren, don't worry. I can make it faster this time. You can? You worry too much. Just give me the scales, friend, and I'll have my finest work for you. All right, here's 20 sovereigns for incentive. I want it perfect. Perfect, you say? Well, there are a few alterations I could make. I'll close up the shop then. No more new orders. Think of the possibilities. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I need to come back later, but uh, I did get the the two sets. Let's see here. Oh no, he or she. <laughs> Liliana just doesn't have enough uh, strength to, to wear any of this stuff. 
Uh, I don't think I put a single point into strength. Let's see here. 16. You know, though, I could I could probably equip, like, some some rings or something. You know, like some accessories to bring her strength up uh, so that she'd be able to wear that. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to do it because I actually really like this set. But um, let's, let's see if I can at least... Oh, I don't have that equipped. What is wrong with me? All right, plus two to all attributes for her necklace. What about rings? Oh, plus three to a random attribute. I don't know. There's, she's getting three strength out of this ring already. Um, how about magic, magic, Alistair, nope, and nope. Oh, there's a belt. Let's see if I can do that. Which one was it? Hornet leather? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Just enough to put this on now. Let's see what this stuff looks like. Wade's dragon skin armor. Oh, and then I can't use the... Uh-oh. Okay, hang on a sec here. Oh, that's why. So I'm getting <laughs> getting uh, strength out of that chest piece that I had on. So I need to swap that first. Then that. Ugh, this stuff looks hideous. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't like the no helmet module with this either. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, uh, nope, that's... That's not something I'm going to wear. Uh, this is just the basic set anyway, so this isn't going to be, you know, all that great. A lot of fire resistance, though, so, you know, decent, I guess, at least, uh, if, you're, if you still need to take the dragon down. But, yeah, um, already did that. <laughs> so, no need. Now I need to figure out how I had this. Dwarven Merchant's Belt, probably. Yeah. And then Alistair. Alistair gets his belt back. Wait, what? What happened to his helmet? Oh. Wait, what? Okay, wait. What are we missing here? Oh, <laughs> that ring? Was I getting strength out of that ring? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, now I don't. I don't know how I have to uh, to uh, to re-equip him so that I can put that helmet back on. <laughs> oh, that's why I have the wrong belt on. There we go. That's more like it. There we go. All right, that's enough playing around with that. Um, <clears throat> let's check the, uh, the dragon scale set. Uh, this, this set though is really good. This is a modded set though. Um, so let's see. So that it would be Wade's superior massive dragon scale. Uh, these gloves are pretty good. Plus two damage, plus five fire resistance, 10 crit and backstab damage, and then plus two physical resistance. This is, it, it, this definitely seems like it's better for a character that's actually going to be dealing some damage. So actually, maybe either, uh, well, probably the main character, honestly. Uh, here's some more. I mean, it's just really, it's got a really, really good fire resistance. Let's check this. So it's fatigue is 14%, or I'm at 14% right now. Let's see what I'm at when we're all. So I think it's just a three-piece set. Yeah, just a three-piece set. Yeah, look at this, the, my... Uh, my fatigue is a lot higher with this stuff. So that modded stuff is really, really good. Um, chest plate, you know, health regen in combat, plus one armor, 50% fire resistance, though, and 50 stamina. And then plus 10 physical resistance is pretty nuts. Um, let me see here. Is it this one? Oh, yeah, this has got 50 stamina as well. 
All right, well, um, yeah, that stuff is really good, though. I'm going to put this other stuff back on, though. I think it looks really good. Uh, and, yeah, we'll have to come back uh, a little bit later to uh, to pick up that that other set. Uh, let's see. I probably should just go back to the to the uh, the camp right now and <laughs> I'll probably just end up selling uh, at least maybe that basic leather set to the to Bodan or Bodan whatever uh, there we are Kipped. and yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do next maybe go to Orzammar or <clears throat> maybe do the uh, the return to Ostagar I'm not sure yet. There's Bodan. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. I'm Let sure you'll be. Let me see your wares. All right, Wade's Drake skin. Looks good. All right. Actually, may stop at uh, Soldier's Peak really quickly too, and just dump off the rest of the stuff. Um, <clears throat> Indeed. Let's see. Yes. Here we are. Yeah, I think I'll. Uh, actually, I think I'll do the Return to Ostagar stuff next. Oh no. So my storage is full now too. <laughs> um yeah, not not great. I can I guess take out a couple of these things. Flora spar is sellable. The rest of the stuff I don't think I wanna take. Yeah, we'll just leave that. I'm always worried about selling something to the Warden. To an NPC that I'm gonna need later, but I think, I think we're all right. Oh, here we go. Well, this guy doesn't want to buy this stuff. <laughs> Crap. I might have to go back to the. Oh, there we go. Nope, he won't buy these either. Okay. Well, back to Bodan. Dwarves apparently are less picky about what they buy from people. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the... Okay. There we go. I still have Drake skills left over even. I think I'm just going to sell these. Um, uh, Wade will only make you two uh, sets of armor out of the Drake skills. And I think it takes three for each set. So, yeah. Don't don't really need any more. Um, okay, let's do yes. these three. And we'll go to Ban Loren's Lands. It says these densely wooded lands provide much of the timber used in the re actually where is where's the place that you get shale is it must be this one sulkers pass yeah that must be it um Yeah, let's actually do that. I'm going to do that. There's a good helmet that comes from there, and <laughs> Liliana's been running around without, without a helmet the entire game, I think. So, I don't know. I don't even know if she'll be able to use it, but we're about to find out. All right, so here's some, some stuff. And this is the guy 
that it's going to sell us. Oh, look at that. Nothing to steal. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Oh, I see. Mm. Part of your problem? Well, yes. Oh, it's been quite the month. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois. Merchant and entrepreneur at your service. Felix de Grosbois? <laughs> okay. Uh, I am one of the Grey Wardens. A Grey Warden? That's quite impressive, isn't it? My word. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? Mmm, help a fellow out how? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I think I could use it. Just as well. You'll find the golem in a village named Honleith, in the hinterlands. Here, I'll mark it on your map. I've heard it might be dangerous there with all the dark spawn about, but I'll wager that's not an issue for someone like you. <laughs> Just hold up the rod and say Dulaf Gar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Hmm. Personal golem? Sounds good. Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Good luck, player. <laughs> right, golem control rod added. Let's go. There. Oh, look, it's a little golem on the map, even. How appropriate. The village of Honleith. Alright, let's save. Is begun. Olaf's chest. Uh huh. How did I, I did. know that it was going to require a key? Oh, Genlock back here. Must have forgot to loot him. Right away. Watch out. There's dark spawn over there. Yeah, there is. Oh, what is dark spawn? Oh, yeah. 
am getting off. I love this. I got it. Commander's helm. That sounds familiar. <laughs> it's garbage. Uh, okay. There's shale. Bloodied bronze key. I'll do it. From the Hanleith Village Council. Okay. I shall. Statue appears to be inert. It looks like, like a golem, doesn't it? An actual golem. And not a statue at all. I wonder how it ended up here of all places. On closer inspection, you see that the statue is embedded with numerous crystals. Some of them cracked. It may be of dwarven make. All right, so a Dulaf Gar. Something happens. Apparently, either the rod is not working or the code word is incorrect. All right, now we need to head into the... Wilhelm Cellar. Strange crystal cluster. Longbow. Is that really it for that? Yeah, apparently. Alright, got some dudes in the next room. my way. A studded leather helmet. Boom. Got it. Mission complete. No kidding. <laughs> it's not the helmet that I want, but for Liliana, it will have to do. For now. Jesus. Wilhelm's special brew. I'm assuming is that a gift for Ogren? Probably. Oh boy. All right, so we got a lot of enemies in the next spot here. She casting mass paralysis from there. I shall do it. So weird. I thought it 
shoulder to do it, like not paying attention. I see. Careful! Don't give them the advantage! I feel like haste is not. Very well. A lot of crystals. A decades old letter. All right, let's see here. Oh, what is this? What the heck? Creepy. By the Maker, we're saved! You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us? Uh, let's see. Wasn't sent by anyone. So we could have just starved down here? The ban gave up on us? <laughs> yep. I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all then. Thank you. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, I bought a control rod, but it doesn't work. <laughs> a control rod? Do you mean the one for shale? That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! <laughs> killed your father? What do you mean? My father's name was Wilhelm. Mage to the Arles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlay. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower. With so many broken bones, she could barely recognize him. And Shale standing over him, just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Hmm. So this thing killed his dad and it's just been in town reminding him. Or at least he thinks it killed his dad. I don't know. Uh, except the rod doesn't work. Nothing happens. My mother might have passed along the wrong command phrase when she sold the rod. She said she never wanted to see Shale active again. Look, I'll tell you the command phrase, but I'll need your help first. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? <laughs> Intimidate. How about you tell me the phrase now? All right, I'll see if I can find her. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. Okay. Matthias has nothing to steal. Well, it's a village. Hmm. Fun. It shall be done. It is begun. Ooh, hello. I see. 
right, <clears throat> Dust Wraith. Remarkable Greenstone Harvest Festival Ring. What's a Harvest Festival Ring? It's something that I can't wear. Strength Dex Attack. That seems like a Liliana Ring. Here. The Journal of Enchanter Wilhelm. <laughs> trade manifest. What's a trade manifest? So the goods more interesting for the trade road it describes valuable to any merchant looking to expand his business. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. No idea what that's for, but more crystals. This root looks like an eldritch monster. Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Hmm, we? Who is we? Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Hmm, <laughs> the cat finds me distracting? Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. Hmm, I would not suggest leaving in such hostile company anyhow, Amalia. Look how they act. <laughs> uh, that's not really a cat, is it? Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough. Once you know how. Uh... I don't think, uh, right. What are you I really? I'm a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. Uh, what have you done to her? I have done nothing. I am all but powerless. The mage made sure of that, didn't he? I cannot leave this chamber. No, Amalia found me. After decades of isolation, her company is... welcome. Ah. <sighs> it seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose... a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Mm. Let you have the girl? You mean possess her? That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? <laughs> All right, let's go with the persuasion option. I'll free you and you can have the girl. Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting. Kitty is going to be free. I've mm -hmm. always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. She's so perfect. <laughs> missed missed an opportunity there. Okay, um... don't really remember this. Let's see here. Let's have everybody hold position so it looks like you move the floor tiles and what we're trying like to when Kitty sings to me make the wait when she sings to you what uh, move the flames I assume over to here all right let's see here what 
Oh, there we go. Right click. We definitely need Donna this like cats, here. But he never met Kitty. As you like. Says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? It's awful. Yes, <laughs> Why would course. he do that to Kitty? As you like. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. It's done. Kitty is my best friend. Aww. So cute. Oops. Apparently that that actually hurts. <laughs> On my way. I was thinking about the sun, mm -hmm. silly. <laughs> I'll do it. It's done. Tell me a story. Mm -mm. Right away. Oops. Go mm -hmm. there. Oh, it's a flower. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. <laughs> Jesus. Do you now? <laughs> All right. We need to get some of like these over here. I like it when Kitty sings to me. Bet you do, you little right weirdo. Away. So close. I'll do. Tell it. me a story. Yes, of course. I shall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? Like. Right away. I'll do it. On my way. I was thinking about the sun, silly. Yes, <laughs> of course. As you like. As you like. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a flower. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. Nailed it. Yes. I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Ah, uh, I said I'd free you. I didn't say I'd let you live. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! Yeah, get out of here. Uh, now they're 
demon. All right, kitty. You're about to eat dirt. That's finished. It. Still have a hold position on. I see. No quarter shall be given. Hornleaf and the Court of Shattered Dreams. That sounds fun. Alright, let's see here. Plus three willpower. Ten mental resistance. That doesn't seem so great. Oh, that takes way too much strength to use. Um, so I suppose that's probably really good with the, um, the Dragon Scale Armor, since the Dragon Scale Armor is a three-piece set. Uh, you know, and not not a helmet. So um, yeah, definitely an option there. Yeah, and I've got other sets on everybody else. So uh, it looks like Morgan gained a level as well. So that's always good. That's it in here. Huh? Okay. Well, all this work for a helmet that I can't unfortunately use. <laughs> Oh, hello. It always feels like haste isn't actually on. I don't know. I'm sure that's some mod issue, too. Yeah, like right now, it doesn't seem like haste is actually on. Very well. It shall be done. Oh, or is it because of weakness? Probably not, huh? Yeah. Penalty to movement speed. All kinds of enemies now. Sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Dool and Han. And if you still want that bloody thing, I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Okay. Bye. Where was that chest? Olaf's prize cheese knife. <laughs> Garbage. Okay. All right, well, let's go get our reward. Doolin Harn.
I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And of course, it is another mage. That is what it is. Yes, yes, just my luck. <laughs> uh, hello to you too. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Uh, no, all of them, no. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. <laughs> wow. Do you have a name? Perhaps. I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. Uh, is something wrong? I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Hmm, fine. Attack Alistair. Hey! And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, shouldn't you be happy about that? Mm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? Uh, hadn't given much. Hadn't given it much thought. I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options. Do I not go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Uh, you killed your former master. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! <laughs> uh, it's hardly a recommendation. Thankfully. I imagine that possessing a useless control rod will make it far less inclined to treat me similarly. Well, you're welcome to come Are with me. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Uh, think of it as a portable battering ram. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then. For now. I am called Shale, by the way. Oh, so you do remember your name. Well, I am glad it all pleased to meet you. This should be interesting. Achievement unlocked. A rock and a hard place. Oh, blast it. It doesn't actually let me... Oh, that's why. Yes. New codex. Shale. All right, let's check Shayla. There's Shale. Pulverizing blows. All right, let's see here. Penalty to defense in exchange for a bonus to damage. Uh, slam. Let's see. Knocks target back. 
Quake. Uh, damages all nearby enemies and knocks them back. Bullets to armor penetration whenever pulverizing blows is active. <clears throat> Where's... Okay, yeah, that's pulverizing blow. Uh, killing blow. Mm, automatic crit. Just remaining stamina is drained. <laughs> wow, that seems kind of nuts. Takes all your stamina and basically puts it into one hit. Stoner. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to use shell. I don't... I'm, I'm probably not... Yeah, I'm not even going to bother looking at the rest of this stuff. Um, let's see here. Honestly, it, it's a, kind, of, kind of like the dog. It actually it looks like it only gets two pieces of equipment. Um, I think generally... Uh, electricity damage is the best. Oops. Huh. Strength defense, fire resistance, dex, electricity resistance, 5% chance to dodge attacks. Yeah, I think that seems better. Okay. Uh, well... And that is going to be it for shale. All right, let's get out of here. Boom, 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 boom. Bravo. Good, good job. Nicely done, devs. All right. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to keep this uh, in its own video, um, and we'll just pick it up with the next one. So, as always, hope the guide was helpful, and thanks for watching.